The study at the first interim analysis demonstrated that there was a marked improvement in progression-free survival on the idelisib plus rituximab arm compared to the placebo plus rituximab. The hazard ratio was 0.15, which translates into an 85% reduction in the risk of progression, with the median progression-free survival for the idelisib arm not being reached, compared with 5.5 months for uh, placebo. Additionally, there was an overall survival benefit identified in the idelisib arm with a hazard ratio of 0.29, which is really the reason the study needed to be unblinded and everyone converted onto idelisib. Notable adverse events were that there was a decrease in the risk of having an infusion reaction in the idelisib arm compared to the placebo arm. And one could hypothesize that shutting down the cells themselves with idelisib prevents the cytokine storm that leads to infusion reactions. The two other adverse events that's important to keep an eye on with regard to idelisib are the, is the transaminitis, which occurred in six patients on the study. Um, four patients were, subs were subsequently rechallenged successfully. One patient actually is currently being rechallenged, and one patient wasn't rechallenged due to an issue with progressive disease. The other uh, adverse event is diarrhea, which has been reported in some of the earlier studies, which we did not see an increased risk of in the idelisib arm.